province in southern France, known for its idyllic villages scattered through the mountains. In summer, you will find here the lavender fields, but when we were here, the season didn't start yet. Instead, the mountain villages were deserted, giving you this local feel of life, bringing you back in time. The best starting point to explore the province is probably Avignon. The historic city of Avignon awes visitors with its stunning Papa Palace. The UNESCO listed Palais de Papa was the residence of seven popes from 1309 to 1377. And it is a testimony to the wealth and power of Christendom during the Middle Ages. Palais de Papa has paid entrance fee, but if you rather do something on a budget, the Cathedral of Notre Dame des Dom is free to visit and is still worth a quick visit as well. Inside the cathedral there is an inspiring sense of space and intimacy. The sanctuary is filled with noteworthy works of art, including a 12th century marble bishop chair, the Romanesque main altar, the late Gothic tomb of Pope Jean XII and 15th century frescoes portraying the baptism of Christ. On the cathedral's exterior, a splendid gilded statue of the Virgin crowns the tower with her hands outstretched to welcome the faithful. And whilst we are talking about Palais de Pape, you will find here, in the heart of the city, atop the Roche de Dom, a beautiful English style public garden which is free to visit. This park will provide you gorgeous views over the city centre, the countryside and Pont Saint Benezet. This graceful 13th century landmark is one of Avignon's most iconic sites. The St. Benezet Bridge intrigues visitors because of its romantic half-ruined state and legendary association. During the Middle Ages, the Pont Saint Benezet was an essential crossing on pilgrimage routes between Spain and Italy. The bridge was used for transportation across the Rhone River until the 17th century, when the structure collapsed. At that time, the bridge counted 22 arches and you will have a beautiful view from it from the other side of the river. But the best thing to do when you are in Avignon is get lost in its narrow streets inside the city walls. The streets are beautiful with its stone houses that houses some nice shops for you to browse. And whilst you are walking around in the city centre, don't forget to make a stop at Rue de Tenterier. The Rue de Tenterier, nicknamed the street of the water wheels, get its name from the intense textile industry that flourished here between the 14th and 19th century. The street follows the narrow Sorg river fed by the waters from the Fontaine de Vaucluse. In the 10th century, this water filled the moats at the foot of the city walls before becoming the driving force of the textile mills starting in 1440. The 16th century saw the birth of the cotton print factories that provided work for the cleaners and dyers and also tanners. Four wheels still remain as testimonies to this past. And the best way to finish your day at Avignon is to visit one of its many Michelin restaurants that it has for a delicious meal. And this doesn't even need to be that expensive. We paid 55 euro per person for a free course meal, one Michelin star meal at L'Atelier. It was a great moment to spend our time in Avignon. <laughs>